Hello everyone, talking to you today from a part of Germany where people really enjoy life. We're in the Rheinland at the Bay Arena in Leverkusen. I'm Derek Ray, with me for commentary is Lee Dixon and we're in position and ready to bring you live action from the German top flight, the Bundesliga. It's Bayer Leverkusen taking on Mainz. Well, I'm excited about this one. Great atmosphere in here. Everybody looking forward to this game, especially me and you. Well, we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch, but what should we expect from him today, Lee? Well, he's got all sorts going on for him, this player. Trickery, I don't mind that. I can play against trickery. Pace is a bit more of a problem. As soon as you've got a player like that, you now have to manage him a lot, lot closer. The lineup for Leverkusen. This particular setup is becoming more and more in favour. Yes, Derek, one central striker, two wingers who will provide the width, a very narrow three in midfield, a back four, the two full backs will be expected to support, but also defend and help out the centre backs. Here's the initial 11 for Mainz. The wing backs are going to be crucial in this setup. You've played in that position, Lee. Yeah, I didn't really like it. And we always thought when we were playing against five at the back with the wing backs exposed like this in this formation, that a 4 4 2 can really create a 2 v 1 down the side. So keep your eye out for that. And the three narrow midfield players supply the support for the two forwards up front. Amiri. Here's Patrick Schick. Arangis. Schick. Tapsoba. Jonathan Tarr has it. Charles Arangis. Edmond Tapsoba. Tarr. And now Amiri. Jonathan Tarr has it. Bender. So a throw in here. Well, I think it's fair comment to say the visitors have their preferred playing style and it really amounts to defending stoutly and then hitting on the break. Lee, is that what you expect to see from them on this occasion? Yeah, absolutely, Derek. It makes complete sense to me to make it difficult for the home side by packing the defence and then just waiting for your chance to hit them on the break. It's a good tactic away from home if you have the right players. Oh, he's given it away. Da Costa. Dominic Coa. Stefan Bell. Da Costa. Karim Onisibo. St. Justa. What a shocking pass, really. Schick. And Bailey. Superbly read and executed. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Under real pressure here. Well, he's given it away. Surely. And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper.
Tor. And it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. Benda Arangis Amiri with it Schick Still on level terms Moving the ball nicely Can he take the chance? Superb save from the keeper Well that's what you're paying for Defenders defend, goalkeepers make saves like that And firing it into the area. And did his job defensively. Another corner. <laughs> Played into the centre of the box. Fisted clear. Bender just cutting off the supply not giving him a moment's peace Robin Quaison a bit sloppy in possession Leon Bailey Sinkgrafen here's Patrick Sheik Wonderful challenge, and a throw-in coming up. Amiri, now with Arangis. Looks promising, this. Might jump in front. Surely, a goal! On the back of sustained pressure, now they deservedly hold the advantage. Well, look at this again. It's all about being in the right place at the right time. And from that sort of range, there's only one winner. A chance to revisit the goal. One nil then. Karim Onisibo. Danny Latza. Core in possession. Karim Onisibo. Musa Diaby. Sheik with it. Amiri. Charles Arangis. Sheik. On to Arangis. I must say, this looks promising. Oh, he's given the ball away. Amiri. Potential danger. Charles Arangis. And Patrick Schick now. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Karim Onisibo. And there it is, the half time whistle.
I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively as well. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Dominic Kaur. Stefan Bell. And Quaison has it. Danny Latza. And now Amiri Edmond Tapsoba Bailey Here's Patrick Schick Now with Arangis Useful looking position you've got to say Arangis Ta Now with Arangis Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Schick. Arangis. Diaby. And given away by Leverkusen. Amiri. Arangis. Sinkgrafen. Bailey. And Patrick Schick now. Will he play it in? Daily Sink Grafen. Bailey. He continues his run. Can he finish? And able to get a body in the way. Da Costa. Stefan Bell and Quaison has it Danny Latza Dominic Kaur well not the pass he had in mind Schick on the ball Lars Bender Charles Arangis It's opening up for them. Takes the shot. Oh, the post denied him. It is to be a throw-in. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. Bender. And teammates to play it to. Kerem Demirbay. It's with Lars Bender. Charles Arangis. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Edmond Tapsoba. So 20 minutes to go. You can sense the threat is there. Arangis. Jonathan Tarr has it. Bender. Now with Arangis. Amiri with it. Charles Arangis. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Danny Latza and the ball with Onisibo it's with Latza oh a perfectly timed pass yeah. 
So it's going to be a goal kick here. Auswechslung bei Bayern 04 Leverkusen. Nicht mehr auf dem Platz. Die Nummer 14. Patrick Schick. Neu auf dem Feld. Die Nummer 13. Lukas Alagio. Well, if they carry on doing their jobs, they should be fine in this game. The fans are certainly doing their bit. Amiri. Demi Obai has it. Sinkgrafen. And now Amiri. And a throw in it's going to be. Well, they've decided to make a change. Dominic Neu dabei. Die Nummer 17. Kevin Stöger. Robin Quaison, Kevin Stöger, Daniel Brozinski, it's with Latza, inside the final five minutes now, Poetius, and the ball with Onisibo, well, do they have it in them to level this? Crossing opportunity. Da Costa. And Quaison has it. Here's Danny Da Costa. Poetius. And successfully cut out. Outrageously skillful. Alario. And the ball's gone. And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome, Lee. Well, wins like that when there's nothing between the sides seem more valuable somehow. Really tight game that was. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positive, Lee. He's always a man to watch for the opposition, but they couldn't keep tabs on him in that vital moment when he grabbed that goal.